This is a beverage cup holder for a Pontiac Solstice. You can see that it's a little bit flimsy, underbuilt, and they do wear out over time. I'm a member of a few Facebook groups, and one of the topics for discussion is a solution to this beverage cup holder. Now it's been said that you can go to eBay and that it is true to get a replacement part for this. You can see that David is struggling here to put it back and it just doesn't quite work and a lot of us are frustrated over this. So we're going to show you how to put this back together. It comes out as a cartridge that you can see here and we're going to disassemble and then reassemble it with the replacement part. Here's how you remove it. You press on the back portion of it here, like that, and then you have to start weaseling it around to get it out of here. And eventually you get it out like that. We're on the bottom side. You've already seen the top. We've got a Torx here that we're going to take out three screws to disassemble this. Got the three screws out, they're all the same size, so you don't have to worry about what hole they go back in. If you turn it over back to the top side, you can see you can take it apart like that. So now we've got top cover off, I'm going to lay over here. We've got our assembly here. This is your spring that's supposed to pop it open for you, right there. But now we need to replace our broken piece, which is our piece here. So we're going to set our two case parts aside. And get a Phillips and take this screw out. And we'll take our screw out here. And now we should be able to get our little part worked off of here. Come on. There it is. Now it's got a spring in it too, and I'd be trying to be careful to keep that spring in place and the assembly in place. You don't have to change it out when you have trouble with it. You can see the way this thing was constructed originally. It actually looks like it's got a little metal core on it, but the plastic is so thin it doesn't hold up. One of the things that I wish they would have done back in the day is if GM had offered this part as an upgrade made out of aluminum. I bet people would have actually bought it and had an aluminum piece here instead. Here we have our replacement piece. This is a 3D printed piece that we bought off of eBay. And we'll put on the screen the actual uh, eBay information so you can buy one of these. But at least it's a solid plastic piece, so hopefully it won't fail as easy as this plastic wrapped piece of metal. And we're going to put this in as a replacement now. Now on the 3D printed one, which you can tell here, because you can see layering in it, versus the original one, which has a rounded top. There are some slight differences, particularly the ends are different. This is a beefier end than this. We also don't have this little square on here. So we're going to find out if the 3D piece will work. I suspect it will, but it definitely looks like he's added more material here and this part is not on there. We're going to check the little fit here. So we put it in the groove, set it down in there. And it seems to slide in there real nice and go all the way around. So we're going to see how that is, but that's what it does. Now we'll put our cap back on here. That's got a, just so you know, there's a little tab on the end of this, I just noticed. That's got to go in, it looks like. Sort of has to go in just the right spot. There, I got it. Now I put the screw in place and retighten. Now, before we do the rest of the assembly, I'm going to see if that thing still slides nice, because if it doesn't, we can always sand it a little bit. It 
it slides, but I'm kind of thinking I might want to sand it on the back side here a bit. But it could also just be because I don't have everything together. But it is, a, you see, with 3D printing, you don't get total, total smooth. So I think I'm going to sand the back of this a bit with like some 350 grit sandpaper. We have the bottom portion. Remember, your top is labeled top. This is the bottom portion. You have your actuator spring here against a little boss. And you can see it right there. You have to assemble this thing in the open position with the bottom coming up and put your spring back in right up against the boss. Now you'll notice over here are little cup holders out of the track. That's only because it's kind of over opening because I don't have the top on it. We need the cup holder in the track, but we're going to do that when we put the top back on. Trying to hold it together, we're going to take our top, put our top back on, and we have to work our new piece in the groove. See, like that. Now that's all together. Now we're holding on to it. We're going to flip it over, not letting go. And now we're going to put our three Torx screws back in place. I'll start the center one. Usually I do all three screws, but I don't want this to fall apart. So I'm going to start the center one, then I'll do the two sides. If I've got to, I'll loosen the center one. One of the things we found here is these three screws don't over torque them. If you get them a little too tight, this will not operate at all. Now right now we have a latch issue we're going to get to, but these have to be loosened up enough so this will come out nicely. And I can't tell you a setting because we don't have a setting for it. So just bring them down so you can actually operate it nicely. Next up, we'll have to get the latch. But before that, the other thing I found, be sure you get this metal piece in just the right spot. Because unless this is properly fastened down, you're going to have troubles with this wanting to cause it to stick right here. So this metal piece will cause a sticking right here if this isn't screwed down just right. All right, we've got it all back together just to the latch a little bit. Really, we just had to push on the latch from the back just a bit. And it'll open like that. It won't like go flying open, but it pops and you just give it a little pull. So everything's working. The biggest thing I found out, just bring the screws down snug. And if you do have any problem operating it, loosen the tension on the screws just a bit. So it will operate. Both upside down and upside right. Obviously, we're upside down right now. We're going to go throw it in the car. So to put it back. All right, notice the position this is in. You've got a little rounded portion here. you got to have it about that position. And put it in here. And there it goes. Get it in. Give it a little shove like that, reinstalled, and now it works. And you notice I had a little bit of fiddling and it went in, but now it's reinstalled. And you have a working cup holder. And actually, it pops a little better than I thought it was gonna.